fellow animal lovers of the internet, I'm back today. I did try to do this video, but I fortunately I ran out of space on my iPad. So I'm redoing it. Um, basically what this video is going to be about, it's going to be why getting a hedgehog benefits. One benefit of getting a hedgehog is that they're cute, very playful if they're used to you, and it's easy to get them to know you and train them. One reason they're cute is because they're little faces, and when they like curl up, they got like a little fat flap. Um, two, they're playful, is usually when they're out and not curled up like this, mine's very scared because I try to keep her like this, um, just to show you guys that it doesn't hurt. Um, and three, they're very, um, what did I say? I don't know, but, oh, they're, it's easy to get them to get used to you, that's what I said. Um, basically what I meant by it's easy to get them to get used to you is for them to not puff up on you specifically. All you have to do is put like a hat or something of yours that has your smell on it in their pen with them and they're used to you. Um, and another reason is because these spikes do hurt. They will not break skin. Like I've been hit a ton they don't break skin, but they do cause a bit of irritation in your skin. Um, it's not venomous. It's not poisonous. And, you know, they're perfectly fine. They don't hurt. It's, you know, it's okay. Um, number three is they like baths, but be very cautious when you're taking, when you're giving them a bath. Because if you get water in their ears, it can actually, um, kill them. And... When they take baths, they like to do what she's doing now because she's scared. They like to curl up in a ball and just lay there. And she's trying to come back out, but she doesn't want to because she's still scared. Um, <clears throat> And you guys probably think I'm crazy getting this close to him. Trust me. They're, they're completely harmless. They won't, you know, bite me or anything. They do have teeth. They won't bite you, though. Oh, and here she comes rolling over. Thank you. Hey, calm down. They have over 6,000 quills on them, too, so don't be surprised if you get, you know, quilled like that when they're scared and they puff on you and it gets them. It gets you. Uh, another reason they benefit is that they're actually not that much of money. Uh, all you gotta do um, is really just uh, buy a cage before you get them. That is the main priority, is a cage way before you get them. You probably want to get a cage and set it up, like, a night before you get it. Just because you have the cage, like, fully done and nothing, nothing's messed up in it and stuff. And, um, because they don't like cages, like, this night they get in there. And, you know, it helps them to you know get used to it if it's already done when they get in there instead of you setting it up while you first get them they're not that much money i think they're only like 150 or like 200 bucks now that's pretty good for an animal like this because they they live pretty okay and um you know they're fine to have because they won't you know like i said they won't hurt you um they also, um, like to hide most of the time, so don't be surprised if they're not out during the day. They're nocturnal, and they hide and sleep, like, all day. And, um, let me see if I can get her to unpuff like this so I can show you her. Um, you might have already seen her. Uh, that's just, you know, from last night, we had a crazy night at my grandma's house, um, and, I also got some. Yeah, Ollie, you don't care. Okay, so let me see if I can get her out. Um, I also, guys, um, you might have not really heard me in my tank update video, but I am getting, I'm just going to list it now, even though this is a hedgehog video, and I'm not going to mention any of it in the title. I'm getting one sylphin tank, one yellow tank, one magnet cleaner, ten snails, Um, 
a, uh, oh, what's it called? Frog spawn, um, a coral, and then for my birthday, this is in three months. For my birthday, which is in four months, I'm getting two zoanthids, a bunch of frag plugs so I can frag them, and I think a bubble, rose bubble tip anemone, I'm not sure. That's what I'm getting. And I'm going to see if she'll come out for you guys. I'm very sorry if she never does this video, but I'm sure she will. So, I'm just going to sit here and wait. I'm very sorry if it gets boring, but, you know, stuff happens. And she's very scared. And if you guys look closely, you might not be able to see it on this camera. But she has, like, little clear tips. And that's actually what irritates your skin if it, you touch it, like, a bunch. Hey, calm down, Pinky. Um. Hi, Pinky. Calm, calm down. There she goes. She gonna let me pick her up. There she is. Oh, come on. And that's her fat flap. That's one of the reasons they're cute. It's when they puff up like that, they're fat flap. And whatever you do when they puff up like it, do not, I repeat, do not try to pull them out of it. It very badly hurts them because they want to be in defense mode, but when you pull them out of that, they're not. And they feel super unsafe, and it can literally kill them. Um, see, she puffs up even more, and, like, it's very bad for them. Um, like I said, when you're giving them a bath, uh, don't get water in their ears because it can kill them. Um, and I'm not lying. If you don't believe me, um, I will ask my dad in a video. Uh, just leave a comment down below if you don't believe me. And, um, also leave a comment down below of what you like, what you don't like. Uh, leave a like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.